Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about some tips and tricks to having a long goatee or a long beard, whatever you want to call it. And this is the things I've come up with in the many, many, many years I've ever had a goatee or a beard. I've had both. Here we go. Tip number one. I learned all these just by having one for so many years. Tip number one is when you go take a shower and stuff, don't wash your goatee or your beard every day. No, no, that's bad. That's not a good idea. Personally, myself, I wash my goatee once a week. Never condition it. Never. And I use baby shampoo, guys. That's right. All the other shampoos out there, they're chemicals and they're not good for your goatee. Not good for your beard. And personally, I honestly think that conditioning just... It just ain't no good. You know, you want to take care of your goatee or your beard. So, pretty much, it's what I do. Baby shampoo, it's about maybe once. Summertime, it may be twice a week. It depends. Now, here's another tip I came up with that I learned back about, ooh, close to four years ago. Now, I wish I would have known this ahead of time. Beard oil. That's right, guys. Beard oil. Simple as just beard oil. Now, there's many different types of beard oil out there in the market. So you got to get the type that's right for you. Personally, I've only tried two. Now, I'll tell you about the best. I would love to show you the beard oil I got, but YouTube would pretty much hate me for it. You know, copyright, some crap like that. But anyway, I've only tried two, and I'm going to tell you about the first kind. Back years ago, my son Damien bought me some beard oil for Christmas. I was like, ah, oh, cool, you know? I didn't want to let him down, so of course I'm going to use it. Well, you got to be careful what kind of beard oil you get. Because that particular beard oil smelled like WD-40 and it just did not do the job. It felt mostly, most water. So, I used it for a while. Then one day, I went to a salon, yeah, to get my hair cut, which is kind of funny because I don't have no hair today. I got razor stubbles. That should be another video. But anyway, I went to a salon to get my hair cut and I was asking them some questions. I was like, oh, you know a lot about hair, right? It's a hair salon. I was like, yeah, I guess we know a lot about hair, Mike. I was like, well, I keep getting a lot of split ends and, and stuff like this and sometimes it gets real frizzy. Any ideas, any suggestions, you know? Now you gotta remember this is before I tried any beard oil. You know, this is before Damien bought me that one beard oil. They're like, well, yeah, we got this stuff. It's called beard oil. I was like, oh, man, I don't want my beard to feel greasy all day. It's like, no, 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 no. No. She gave me the beard oil. Now, it's kind of a little costly. You know, I think it cost me like 15 bucks for a bottle that big. But, you know, a bottle lasts you five or six months because you only pour a dime size in. So I got home, read the instructions. I poured a little dime size in my hand. And I was like, now, when you do this, you want to do this when your beard is still a little bit damp. Not wet, just damp. So you just massage it in. That's all I do. Massage it in, get underneath, massage it in. And what's left on my hands, I put it up here. Don't ask, but I do. And then, it, it only takes seconds and it doesn't feel greasy. And it smells. I put this in here after I did the plank workout today. That was three hours ago. No, it's not true. I put that in there this morning after I did the stairs workout and still smells good. It's not greasy at all, guys. And it's the best stuff I've ever used. I still get split ends here and there, but nowhere near like I used to. So that's the biggest tip I could give you guys is beard oil. Now the stuff my son Damien got me, I still got a lot of it left and it's it's nasty stuff. Yeah, it smells like WD-40, but you know, to each their own. Maybe you guys want to smell like WD-40. I don't know. But anyway, another tip I'd like to give you, which would be the last tip, okay? What's funny is I thought of all these tips while I was doing the plank video, and they just went right out of my mind. Well, here's another tip, and this is just a personal tip for me. If you guys remember years ago, uh, when I had a goatee about this length before, I would put it into a little hair tie. A little cloth hair tie, right? Well, I'm starting to wonder if that might have caused my goatee to kind of get as many split ends too. 
See, back years ago when I used a hair tie, I didn't use anything. I basically wash and condition my goatee every other day. And I didn't use any beard oil whatsoever. And I put it in, I used to keep it in a little tie all the time. Could that have been what had happened to it? Because you got to remember, I had to get half of it cut off because it was just getting filled with split ends. Well, right now, I hardly have any split ends. And it's almost the length it was before, almost. It could have been that, but that is another little tip of mine. To each their own. Sometimes you may have to put it in a little hair tie, especially if you're doing any kind of yard work. Because when it gets length on it, you know, sometimes you get caught in things. But anyway, guys, I want to make a goatee or a beard video, tell you some personal tips, and leave me comments. It doesn't matter how long your goatee is or how long your beard is, these tips will work for everybody. But the best, biggest tip I could give you is that beard oil. It is, it's wonderful. I love it. As a matter of fact, I'm running low on my beard oil now. I'm going to have to go out and get me some. And it'll last you about five or six months. All you got to do is put a little dime size in, work it in the beard for about maybe a minute or two, and it'll last all day long. You will, you will, not, you will not regret it. All right, guys. First time having my green screen, God, I shouldn't have looked at that light. As soon as I looked at that light, I just got, whoa. First time having my green screen up in a new location. I'm in my basement, and I did some tweaking, and yeah. So, if it doesn't work out good on this one, we'll redo it. So, guys, leave comments. Maybe the next video we talk about is hair. Yeah. I need to, I'm thinking about, see, I'm not fully bald but I'm close enough and I'm thinking about going fully bald. But the thing is, I'm not sure if I can take a razor and be able to shave my head on my own. Maybe I'll be another video. Until next time, guys, come on. Let's get out of here.